Problem 610 says you're going to be making a box, and they have a picture of the box here. It's always a hassle when they have the problem, you know, on one page and the picture on the other page. It's going back and forth. So, yeah, anyway. So, so here is a picture, and you can imagine. It's kind of cool, right? You take one piece of cardboard, and you cut out this. You chop that out, right? You chop that out. You chop that out. You chop that out. And then these are the flaps, right? These two things, the flaps. You fold it over. Right, you fold the flap, you fold the flap, you fold the flap, and then this is like this is the back of it, right? This part's the back of the box, and then here it folds over on top. But really, this is the bottom. Let's say this is the bottom, um, and you can fold it up, fold it up, fold it over. Anyway, it's kind of cool. So, yeah, so that's how you can make a box with just cutting out four little squares, and they they're gonna keep the size of the squares variable called x so you can make them as big as you want if you want a smaller box you cut out more here you make it a bigger x you want a bigger box or a wider box that's not as tall right x is how tall the box is because this is the back of the box right and they have a picture here um, so the height of the box this height of the box is x that's how big this square is that you're cutting out so if you want a tall box you make x big but then then it won't be as big, the piece sides won't be as big, right? So whatever, you can kind of see how that works. Okay, they say you have a piece of cardboard 20 by 50 inches. So part A says what is the area? Uh, sorry, what's the volume of the box? Okay, so we know that volume, volume is length times width times height, not plus, times height. It's just a rectangle. Uh, rectangular, I think they call it prism or something, rectangular prism, I think is what you say, a box. Um, okay, so we know the height is x, but the length, well, like you might, I don't know what you want to call length or width, but let's say this is the length, okay? So this is one part of the box. Well, it is, they tell us it's 50 all the way across, and the height's 20 here. So 50 all the way across. So, um, and I believe we want, we want these two things to be the same. Okay, we want those two things to be the same. So, because that's how the box works, right? Yeah, that's, this is the top of the box, that's the bottom of the box. So these two things are the same. So, uh, this thing here then is, is 25. So it's 25 to right here, so this is 25. And this is 25, because you want those two things to be the same. That makes sense. So what is this? So this length here, then, is 25 minus x, because it's chop off the x, right? So the width, or length, let's call it, I don't know what I call it. Let's call it width. The width is 25 minus x, because half the box is 25, because that's 50. Yep, that's right. And this is just we're taking out the x part. OK, and we do the same thing for here. Right, this whole thing is 20. And so here we actually take out an X on, on this side and an X on that side. So it's 20 minus two X's. So this, the length here is 20 minus two X's. And the height is just X. This is the height of the box. This thing here is the height. That's like the box of the height is equal to X. So we just multiply all those three things together. And then we get what the volume of the box is. You take 20 minus 2x times, so the volume is length times width times height, 20 minus 2x times 25 minus x times x. Um, when you do this, you're going to get one term. We have an x times an x times an x, which means it's an x cubed which means that the, the uh, oh, what do they say, the area, the, they want to know the degree of the volume, the degree of V, the degree of our volume. And that would be three, since you're going to get an X cubed, the biggest power of X you're going to have, the biggest power of X is the degree. So the, the it'd be three, the degree of V would be three, right? And all that, that's all they mean, the biggest power of X. Okay, so that is how you do the volume. And then part B says, what about the area that's exposed that you can see? So you're gonna have to think about what you can see here. 
I think that like, you know, some of these flaps are going to be covered or something. But you do the same thing. Um, you know, actually, I shouldn't have erased that, huh? Because this, see, this is 25 minus x. So area, of course, is just length times width. So that's 25 minus x. We figured out this one here was 20 minus 2x. Oh, the good thing also is everything's in inches. They don't try to fool us in mixing in feet and everything. They're giving everything in inches. So that's 20 minus 2x, this part here. So the area at the top is those two things. And this is the same, right? This is the exact same thing. They're the same size. So we have two. This is the top, and this is the bottom. So the area at the top and the bottom is just 20 minus 2x times 25 minus x. That's the top and bottom. Top and. So you have two of those, right? Top and bottom. That's two of those things. And then what else is showing? We have um, we have one of these, one of these, and one of these, and one of these. Right? The exposed part of the box. So this is a side, this is a side, this is the front. Um, yeah, right? Am I thinking right? Um, because we have to have, we have the top and the bottom, and then we have to have four sides. So one, two, three, four. So all we're missing are these two. All we're missing are those two. Oh, that's an easy way to do it. So all we're missing are those two things. So the area is, the total area then that's exposed is 50 minus 20. The entire box is exposed. 50 minus 20 minus these two guys. Sometimes it's easiest to do what's not showing versus what is showing. You can also do it out as way, like this thing times two, and then this plus that, plus that, plus that. And the only things that's not showing are those um, where it's doubled over. That's, I think it's easier to say that it's an entire piece of cardboard minus the, oh, this might not be easier because it's minus these two, and those are 25 minus x times x, right? This thing here is 25 minus x times x, length times width. We're also missing these guys. So we're missing four x squareds, right? Because they're chopped out. We cut those out anyways. We have four of those, four x squareds. So it's the total area minus the four x squareds minus two of these guys, which is 25 minus x times x. Right, one of the, we have this one and that one are, are not going to be exposed, not going to be showing. And then you got to multiply all this out. And I think probably you'll find the biggest power of x is a 2. Now, then they say, okay, when you do all this, you multiply it all out, you set that equal to 600, and what x makes that true? Right, what x makes that 600? So then you have some algebra to do, probably quadratic formula or something to figure out how big you want to cut out so that you have 600 square inches. And a good thing is they didn't try to say square feet or something, things in inches. Um, yeah, okay, I think that's it. So yeah, back of the box, front of the box, sides, these two are missing. Yeah, I think that's right. So lots of ways to think about doing this. Um, they're just getting you used to, um, you know, drawing pictures and labeling things, 25 minus X, all that kind of stuff. It's really important to be able to look at a picture and draw what the sides are. Think about the whole thing minus parts of it. Um, really good skill to have here. And then just simple area and volume formulas. Um, and yes. Cool. Okay. Hope you can figure out the rest of it.